Hello, welcome back to the Java series. So, in this lesson, we're gonna talk about tweets and uh, how we can uh, achieve them using the interface runnable and the class tweet itself. So, let's start with the first method: is to create a tweet t instantiate a, a tweet. But this thread takes a runnable, so we don't have, and the runnable is an interface, which is this. It's a functional interface because it has only one function, one method, and this method calls run. So we're gonna instantiate an object here, famous objects, and uh, Inside here, we're just gonna do a sysout and we log something like uh, hello, hello from the read. Then we passed here with t start. So, in, in order for this read to start executing we need to invoke the method start on it uh, yes yeah, start it gives an error because this should be t not e then we sys out in the main to see such message the main done in the main and we let's execute this. See, so basically what happened here is, is we create this thread and we start executing. So this block of code it gets executed in a separate thread, but it doesn't wait for this. But but it jump directly here and execute this. This just it takes a little bit of time to get created, so that's why we see this uh, this line of code appear here, the first. But we can do this t join. So to tell the, pro the the main thread to the main thread to wait for this thread to finish the execution, then jump to this line of code, and this should be wrapped inside. So now we get we execute this code. When this read finish execution, then the the main thread goes here. This is the the first way. The second is to actually create a class which in which uh, implements the interface runnable. And uh, move this code here. Just like this. Task. And move this code here. Get rid of this, all of this. This. And this doesn't take runnable the runnable interface anymore but it's gonna take a new task since, since the our class task implement the so it should work should uh, give the same output the third way is to to extend, make a class, create a class that extends the, the, the class thread. So my thread, my thread, and uh, finish, extend, 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 uh, then uh, threads. 
and in order to for this to run we need to override the method override the method public void run then do the sysout thing from the thread because this this the class thread itself I guess it's or it's it does implement the 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 interface runnable so we need to if we extend this we need to give our custom our custom implementation for the run method so we go back here instead of doing all of this we create my thread t and give it new my thread then t start that's it so we get the same result but uh, we didn't wait for the thread the thread to complete the thread completion so can add join here no this join need to be wrapped inside try catch block so from the thread done in the main uh, what if we invoke the method to run here instead and see so what will happen here if we invoke the method run is we actually that it's like we don't create a real three the code does not get this block of code does not get executed in a separate thread from the main thread but everything is gets executed in the main thread but start is does actually uh, actually start the, the another another separate thread so to uh, start so this is it and uh, we see the the fourth way to I guess the third way to to create a thread is by using Java 8 lambda and we give it new uh, thread then this takes an empty then this goes to and so we go we, it says out here new for example the same thing let's keep it simple uh, from the thread so it should give the same nope we did not start it that's why t start so if we did not invoke the start the thread the thread will not get started so now we if we if we wait for the completion we should create put the 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 join method it always need to be surrounded with try catch so that's it so here in the task what we're gonna do here we can retrieve the thread the, the thread that actually execute this code we can know its name and know it has an id it has a bunch of other information but and we can retrieve all, all of this information from here for it creates a sample for loop 
five i plus plus then it's save the thread which is done by invoking save and we give it a hand a thousand millisecond surround and try catch then we sys out sys out sys out the the name thread name thread name and we access the thread name by thread current thread get name we can get the id get name priority set the priority there's a max and main priority and concatenate it with the for example the i here the equal and i And go back here and create a thread t1 with a new thread and we pass the parameter of new runnable our runnable which is task the task and we can give it a name t1 then create another three name it t2 t2 t and start t1 start t2 start So we see the first thread gets get there and execute, then the second, then the third, and the, so on. And uh, if we write here sys out done in the main tweet main we're gonna see this line of code get executed first because we did not wait t1 join t2 join this both need to be surrounded with the try catch block so now you see so this is it for this uh, this episode this sample lesson and uh, in the next lesson we're gonna see more about more stuff about tweet creation and access to shared resource and uh, read and write and how to synchronize the, this operation and other stuff and uh, talk about the thread local uh, the thread executor and other interesting stuff so thank you and see you next time